With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, a car starts from rest with acceleration of 6 meter per second square which decreases to zero linearly with time in 10 seconds after which the car continues with constant speed. Find the time required for the car to travel 400 meter from the start. So if you see the car start with a acceleration of this, right? So the acceleration decreases from 6 to 0 in 10 seconds, right? So if I draw the curve of acceleration versus time, second so it did decreases to zero right so here the acceleration decreases from six to zero in 10 seconds so you can write down the curve equation of acceleration if you see the slope of this line it is minus six by ten so it will be minus three by five right Now if you see the velocity function, so we can write down dv by dt is equals to minus 3 by 5. And if you see here, the initially the car was at rest, start from rest, right? So at t equals to 0, the velocity was 0. So if I integrate this, Initially, the velocity was 0. Let's say at time t, the velocity is v. From here, if I write down the v, it will be equals to, it will be t square by 2, right? So, it will be t square by 10. And at 0, it will be 0. And it will be 60. And 0 again, it will be 0. So, if after putting the limit, we will get this. Question, if you see here, it uh, decreases linearly to 0 in 10 seconds after which the car moves with constant speed. So we can get the constant speed after 10 seconds by calculating the area of this. So area will be the change in velocity and if you see initially it was it at rest so it will be velocity at t equals to 10 seconds only. So area is base into height by 2 that is 30 meter per second. So after 10 seconds it will move with a constant speed of 30 meter per second right. So, if you see here the like change in velocity is just 30. So, it will continue moving with a velocity of 30 meter per second after 10 seconds. Now, let's uh, calculate the time, uh, calculate the distance moved by it in 10 seconds. So, for that we will uh, integrate it. I will write ds by dt is equals to minus 3t square by 10 plus 60. From here, I will write ds integration, integration, integration. 0 to s, 0 to 10, 0 to 10. Now, after putting the limit, you will get the displacement in 0 to 10 second. So, if you integrate it, it, it will be t cube by 3. So, it will be t cube by 10. zero to hundred or uh, zero to ten it will be t square by two so it will be three t square now it will be three hundred minus hundred that is two hundred meter right so two hundred meter it traveled in ten seconds now remaining two hundred meter it will travel with this constant speed thirty meter per second so Time to travel thirty 
remaining 200 meter so let us write in uh, down this uh, t2 so it will be 200 by 30 so it is 200 by 3 and earlier it took time 10 second and this is 200 by 3 so total time will be t1 plus t2 so 10 plus uh, 20 by 3 it will be 50 by 3 Now you can check for the option. A is the correct option. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.